Hello everyone, my name is Jack, and today I'm going to be talking about Brandermiel. Brandermiel is a community in the Chesterfield County, uh, Midlothian, Virginia. What I'm going to be talking about is a little bit about real estate, uh, the community amenities, demographics, and things like that. As you can see on this map, Brandermiel is on the southwest side of the city. You have uh, Midlothian is a city right above the red dot, and the red dot is Brander Mill. And that lake that you see, that's, uh, that is the Swift Creek Reservoir. A little bit closer look, we're going to be starting next to the elementary school. We're going to be going on to Brander Mill Parkway and all the way to Commodore Point. We're now on Walnut Creek Road. This is um, Walnut Creek is one of the subdivisions. We just turned now onto Grander Mill Parkway. We're gonna head down this trail and then we're gonna make a ride to get to Commodore Point. If you're just interested in the lake, you can skip and go to four minutes and 30 seconds. That's when we will start seeing some lake views. However, I did want to show you a little bit of community and if you stick with me, I'll try to go in detail and cover some amenities and information about the community and demographics, uh, which is the goal of this video. You know, I am a real estate agent, so I'm trying to give my clients as much value as possible because there's a lot of people coming in town and they're moving here. They don't know what it is like to live in these communities. So I hope this video helps them facilitate the decision-making process. And if you find any value in this video, so let me know in the comments. Um, I'm also, it's going to be a little bit shaky, but you know, at least you guys can get a feel of what it is like uh, to actually ride onto the trails, which is a, uh, there's about 15 miles of these trails throughout the community and uh, they also extend into Wood Lake, which is uh, another community on the other side of the lake. I will also be speeding up the video just so it doesn't get too boring and I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get into it. What are you guys doing? As you can see, there's plenty of people that are just hanging out onto the trails. It's a very nice community with very friendly people. People are very nice here, very friendly, and um, we do have a lot of retirees, a lot of families in this community. We're now headed into the neighborhoods closer to the lake. Um, that way you can take a look at uh, what it is like to live here and uh, drive by it. As far as home prices, just to give you a price range for a three bed and two bath home, let's say 2,000 square feet, uh, if you're looking somewhere uh, a little bit farther away from the lake, uh, you'll find it at around $200,000, $250,000. Um, as you get closer to the lake, you'll prices go up to $300,000, $350,000 because of the proximity to the water and then obviously the waterfront homes uh, they range from five hundred dollars to seven, eight hundred thousand depending on the square footage. <laughs> Thank you. 
as you can see, people are very friendly here. And that is why I'm slowing down when I encounter people, just to show you how they interact with you. And uh, But there's just a very nice vibe overall. People are very relaxed. Right now we're headed over to Commodore Point, which is a boat dock uh, location. And uh, there's a lot of people there just, um, you know, hanging out on the trails because the trails intersect, you know, with, uh, with the lake. However, people will tend to talk to me a little bit more often. That's because I have three dogs on a leash with me while I'm riding a bike. So they're very impressed with uh, how well behaved they are. In addition to the lake and the trails that you see in this video, there are many more amenities, including tennis courts, community swimming pools, um, golf courses uh, there's plenty of those and this is all included into your HOA fees which average about fifty four dollars every month and uh, I think it's uh, well worth the price honestly for what you're getting if you have not considered living in Brander Mill yet and uh, you are considering it uh, you know I would really suggest to do so because it's a it's a great community a great place to live Here we are, we just arrived to Commodore Point and I hope you can get a feel of how peaceful it is here You are allowed to go fishing here, however you do need a license, I believe it's around 30 to $40 per year. The sunsets here are amazing. Um, there's also another spot here at Brander Mill um, where you want to go for sunsets and that is at the Boathouse, they call it, or Sunday Park. Uh, we'll show that later on into the video. However, today is a, it's a cloudy day. It's around 4 p.m. right now. There's 60 degrees outside, so you kind of get a feel of it. These houses, they are waterfront homes technically, but they do have this trail that goes through their backyard. Not all the houses have this trail in the backyard in Brander Mill, but uh, some of them do, you know, and uh, you'll definitely see it in the price that it's a little bit lower compared to homes that are, you know, right off the lake and they have the lake in the backyard. This is as far as we will get today on the trails. We will now play a little bit with the dogs and then uh, we'll head over to Sunday Park. How you doing, sir? Good, good.
if there's something that I missed or uh, that you know that you would like to share with uh, everybody else that watches this video, uh, please let us know in the comments. Good job. Good job, you made it. So as I said earlier, technically this is a reservoir uh, and this is where uh, the Chesterfield County gets their water from. So all the water comes out of every home sink, uh, this is it. Um, and since it's such a, a big source of water for uh, the community, they do not allow boats with uh, gas engines. So only electric engines uh, behind boats are allowed. If you want to move on to the next segment, and uh, we're going to show Sunday Park next. Move on to 13 minutes and 15 seconds. Uh, I'm going to play fetch with the dogs right now. Here you go, you can enjoy one last look and then uh, we'll move on to the next spot. Here we are, we just arrived at Sunday Park. So this is located on the south side of the lake, uh, right on the right side here we have a restaurant and uh, there's lots of business, you know, photograph uh, business uh, where people come and take wedding pictures. Uh, now as you can see these are the trails and they pretty much go everywhere, you know, if it's, it's a great spot to go, you know, on a Sunday and just, you know, great activity for families. Um, right there on to the right you'll see a restaurant it's called uh, the boat house the food is delicious and uh, as a matter of fact prices are pretty good for what you're getting you know not every day you go to a restaurant that has a lake view so The trails extend all the way to the right side and to the left side also of this um, of this lake. Um, gonna go over to Sunday Park uh, where the playground is, just to show you a little bit around. And then, uh, as you can see on the other side of this uh, playground, we also have another uh, the other side of the lake. Right now everything is closed down, that is because of the virus, so we don't have many people here. It does get a little bit busy uh, on, you know, holidays or during the weekends, but nothing crazy. Right now we are driving on Brander Mill Parkway, we're headed north, 
uh, you'll see a lot of houses on both sides of the streets as well as golf courses so it'll kind of give you a feel of what it is like to drive in this community Right now we are at the intersection between Brander Mill Parkway and Genido. We are headed over to this sub subdivision which is Walnut Creek. Next we will be heading over to some grocery stores just to show you what's around and how far they are. We just turned onto Old 100, we're headed south now. Uh, you'll see on the right side, right after this roundabout, there's a high school, it's called the Swift Creek High School. And then on the left side, there's a church. Now we're headed down south, and we're gonna go to the groceries or where the main plazas are, and we'll have Target, movie theaters, um, and all those grocery stores that you know we all demand next to us. I would say it took me about 10 minutes to get here from the Walnut Creek subdivision. Uh, this is, right here we have Best Buy, Office Depot, um, Kohl's, and um, on the other side we have the movie theater. Uh, now we're headed in front of Target. You can see on the right side, uh, plenty of grocery stores. And this is the intersection between Old 100 and Hall Street. And that's where we're at. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn right, and this is actually Hall Street. I'm headed towards the city. We are turning left now, and uh, you can see in front of you Home Depot. A little bit ahead, you have Walmart. So as you can see, there's plenty of businesses around here. It's a, uh, it's a very nice uh, place and convenient place to be uh, and live in. Also, if there is another community that you would like me to go through and so that you can get a better feeling of it, please let me know down in the comments and I'll go and take a video of it. We're getting towards the end of this video. Right here on the right side, you'll see there's some more grocery stores, there's Food Lion, a bunch of businesses, and this is right on the right side, um, northeast side of the Brandon Mill community but on the right side you'll see the Swift Creek Elementary School in a second here it is and that's pretty much it for today so if you found some value in this video please let me know if you need any help with real estate of any kind let me know again my name is Jack Graham and I'm with United Real Estate thanks for watching